and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I make a super easy and delicious albondriga soup. And in case you don't know what that is, that is just meatball soup. So in case you guys want to learn how I make them, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so for our broth we are going to need half an onion, two ramen tomatoes, two garlic cloves, one tomato bouillon, one chicken bouillon, and for our spices we are going to need some ground cumin, some black pepper, some salt, and some garlic salt. For our meatballs, we are going to need one fourth of an onion and some cilantro. And here, just make sure that it's finely chopped. And also, you're going to need one cup of rice, one tablespoon of flour, two eggs, and two pounds of ground beef. And for your vegetables, um, here I have some carrots, some celery, and some potatoes. Vegetables, you can add whatever kind you wanna add, including green beans or corn, whatever that's option, it's up to you. And also, we are going to need some cilantro. So these are our ingredients. Now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to get started with our meatballs. So before we get started with our um, combining our mixture for the meatballs, I'm going to boil some water, because we are going to boil them. So like that, by the time our meatballs are fixed, we can just throw them into the boiled water. We are going to throw our meat into this bowl here. And then our rice. It's okay, because we're gonna mix all that. Your flour. I'm gonna put about two teaspoons of um, garlic salt. And then about one teaspoon of garlic pepper. I'm s what? <laughs> and about one teaspoon of black pepper. Start mixing that. And of course, don't forget your eggs. So now we can, we're just gonna mix everything together. Oh wait, don't forget your onion and cilantro. Also good. Alright, so once everything's mixed in here, we are going to start uh, forming our little balls. Just make sure that the egg and everything is mixed. Okay. So that's our meat. Now let's get our little balls together. So depending on how big you want them, then that's how big you're gonna make them. To me, this is a really good size. And we're just gonna let them cook. And because depending on how big you made them, it's gonna it's gonna take um you know longer or shorter time to cook. What do you mean? So for my meatballs, I'm going to let them cook for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then I'm just gonna check them, and then we can see how they look by that time. Oh, 
Okay, so we're just gonna let them cook in there. And while the meatballs are cooking, we can get started with our broth. Okay guys, so for your broth, here I have four cups of water, and we are going to put our tomatoes and our onion, the bouillons, the two garlic cloves, and about half a teaspoon of cumin. And then you can also add salt if you want more salt. But um, the, the um, bouillons, sorry, the bouillons should be able to make up for that. So we're just gonna blend that. Alrighty, so once this is ready, we are just gonna wait for the meatballs to be done cooking and then we can get to our next step. Alrighty guys, so it's been 20 minutes and this is what our meatballs look like. Uh, you can start, we want to make sure that our meatballs are cooked. So they are cooked already. And you guys, because I'm going to use, I don't have another pot, so I'm going to transfer my meatballs to a different pan. You know, because I'm going to use the same pot for um, to do the rest of the stuff, okay? to put a little bit of oil on my pot just a little bit don't put too much just about like one teaspoon and then we are going to add our broth You guys want to add more salt? I think it's good. But um, now we are going to add our potatoes, okay? And because they take longer to cook, um, we're gonna let them, you know, cook with the broth. All right, you guys. So now I'm just gonna let it boil for about 10 minutes, and then after that, we can start adding our. Um, the rest of the carrots and the celery. Alrighty guys, so by now our potatoes are a little bit soft. So they're softer. So we are going to throw our carrots and celery. And we're just gonna let them get a little bit soft before we throw our meatballs. So let them cook in there for like another 10 minutes and then we can add the meatballs. Alright guys, so after 10 minutes, we're going to throw our meatballs back into our broth with the vegetables. because the, old, like, the rice, it's all in there. So we are going to throw the water back into this pot. Remember, it's a soup. Just kind of mix it in there. And then try it for salt again, you guys. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. person you know make sure that you guys add the salt with the meatballs or you know I didn't put salt when I was mixing the meatballs but you guys can always add it there alrighty guys so now I'm just gonna add the cilantro 
and then just wait for everything to come to a boil and then our abondrigas will be done by then. Alrighty guys, so our abondrigas are finally done so we can just turn it off and they are ready to be served. They're all nice and ready. Alrighty guys, so our abondrigas are finally done so we can just turn it off and they are ready to be served. They're all nice and ready. Alrighty guys, so I like to eat my albondigas with some lime. So I'm just gonna squeeze some in there. And some salsa. And of course, tortillas and all that good stuff. Just mix it all in there. Mm. And the, ah, so good. Okay, so I am ready to eat. This smells delicious. So be careful because it's hot. Mm -hmm. Super delicious. Perfect for the colder times. <laughs> guys and there you have it a super easy and delicious albondrigas i hope you guys give it a try and if you do please don't forget to send me your pictures on instagram snapchat facebook i'm always open thank you so much for all of you guys that sent me the pictures of the choco flan it made me so happy knowing that you guys were able to make it and it came out perfect and also you guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and just comment down below what you think share it and if you're new to our channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on our next video